What architecture is best for my workloads? What's the benefit of newer architectures like HCI over traditional ones? And most importantly, why should I continue watching this video series? My fellow tech nerds and I have put together this series to answer these questions and more. In this first video, I'll cover three key architectural concepts to keep in mind when looking at HCI. Scalar architecture, data locality, and resiliency. Let's dive in. Not all HCI is created equal. In fact, some HCI offerings are just a virtual retrofit of rigid SAN architectures. A true HCI architecture is based on distributed systems design, leveraging cloud engineering principles that enables linear scaling, automated resiliency, and efficiency that improves with scale. That's why knowing how data and metadata is structured and stored in Nutanix AOS becomes important. Data is efficiently distributed across the entire cluster in small four meg chunks called extend groups. To keep track of these small pieces of data, Nutanix uses a distributed consistent key value store as its metadata store. This makes data placement for every new write dynamic and flexible. Another key design principle for HCI systems is data locality. Data locality keeps data close to applications on the nodes where they are running, which in turn keeps latency low and prevents storage and network contention, especially as your cluster size grows. Nutanix makes this possible with fine-grained data and metadata structure, enabling small pieces of data to be moved around dynamically. Complementary to data locality, are innovations like the Autonomous Extend Store or AES, which provides metadata locality and Block Store, which provides an optimized data path for AOS. Block Store, when used with Intel's Storage Performance Development Kit or SPDK, enables technologies like NVMe and Optane to be leveraged fully by providing an optimized data path that can talk directly to storage devices while avoiding the kernel, enabling consistent high performance. Finally, resiliency is one of the most important benefits of HCI architectures, if not the most important. Nutanix AOS's dynamic placement for every new write with distributed decision-making ensures writes are always replicated and protected even during failure scenarios. Since the replicas are distributed in small chunks across multiple nodes and disks, rebuilds after failures are fast and efficient, and they get faster as cluster grows in size. Even after data is stored, various algorithms in the background ensure data integrity is maintained and that data is protected from corruption. So let's review. Our distributed scale-out architecture is the way to go. As you assess architectures, think about how data and metadata is stored and structured. Keep latency low and prevent storage and network contention with data locality. And it's all about resiliency. Make sure you're prepared for any scenario with a smart architecture. These architectural principles will give you the foundation for a simple, flexible, resilient, and performant platform that other Nutanix products leverage and can build on top of just like an app inside a smartphone. In the next video, I'll explain these concepts further and share how they'll help you. Stay tuned.